Howdy. Managed to con coax my computer to start up again. See how long that lasts. Anyway, here's just a quick explanation of where that continuous uh, uh, interest, the continuously compounding interest formula comes from. You might remember from last night's prep that the formula was f is equal to p times e to the rt. Okay, well, if you look at the original formula, the discrete compounding formula, uh, which is f is equal to p by 1 plus r over n times nt, that's very similar to the uh, uh, to the p bracket 1 plus i to the power t formula in that case i was the interest in decimal here uh, what we have is we have the rate for the year which is r and we divide it by the number of time periods and uh, you then raise it to the number of time periods times the number of years uh, so if, if, if you're doing it monthly if you have monthly interest say over three years you'll be dividing by 12 and raising it to the power of 12 by 3. Um, okay, so to make sense of what happens when you let n go to infinity, i.e. The, the number of time units become tends to infinity, the size of the time unit tends to zero, uh, we need to take the thing inside the bracket and need to do a little substitution because ultimately that is very similar to this uh, this thing down here, um, uh, it's just on, it's on its own down here at the bottom. As we looked at the other day, uh, the limit as of one o plus one over n to the power of n is e, as n tends to infinity. Now we can't do that at the moment uh, because we don't have it in that format, obviously. But what we do is we just uh, let uh, we just swap r over over r over n for one over m. Looks like a just a, uh, looks like almost cheating to do that, but it it, it fits in nicely, and um, because the substitution is going to also happen here, so it's going to be consistent. So what we're saying is um, let n over r equal to m, which is the same thing as saying let r over n equal to one over m, and so we're going to replace r over n with one over m. Also, if we cross multiply, we get n equals to r m. And we sub that in instead of n, so we end up with p bracket 1 plus 1 over n to the power of m r t. Now, knowing what we're trying to do later with the limits, we're going to take, we're going to just bring the m in with the 1 plus 1 over n. So we're going to create a second bracket, bring the m inside, so we've got 1 plus 1 over m to the power of m to the power of r t now. Now, what we've got to do for uh, continuous compounding is let the number of time units tend to infinity. So we're letting n go to infinity. But because n is equal to mr, letting n equal to infinity is the same as letting m equal to infinity. <coughs> uh, be well, because the, the, the rate is fixed, the annual rate is fixed, so r is just a constant. So m is equal to n over r. So if n goes to infinity, so does m. So if you take the limit of this as m goes to infinity that is just e for the same reason as down here which means therefore so taking the limit but the, you know you, it's, it's it's just a limit with, with, reflect, with respect to m <coughs> so it doesn't concern r or t or p which are all uh, constants <coughs> the thing in this bracket is actually e by definition so your formula becomes p times e to the r t and that, my friends, is where that formula comes from. All the best. <coughs> Good night.